It surprises me sometimes how few people know that the VAC exists, know that there's a standalone art school that is a world-class facility with community college prices. I think that you can say fairly that this facility is one of a kind in the state and when we built it probably in the nation. When this project was uh, first, I should say, a dream, uh, the president at that time found this building, which was then a department store. He asked me if I would spearhead this project. Part of the deal was to bring over to this facility the people on the other campuses. So it was a big transition, a big one, but what an opportunity. My faculty and I designed it. We took the store and we converted it into a first-class art school. We had 14 studios at that point. We have added a hot shop, a glass studio on the roof. And we're particularly happy to have the galleries at the front door so that people coming in will immediately see the kind of work that our students do, our faculty are able to do, and the, the shows we bring in. The Visual Arts Center has its own director, which is a little bit unusual. We're kind of a standalone in the TCC system. Our approach here is to work together um, as, as, a, as a whole complete unit. So the students leave here with a good foundation and a lot of different things. I think all of the instructors here work together very, very well because we're in the same building. We deal with the same students. We understand that what we teach in one class influences what's taught in the next class. All of the people working here are artists themselves and well-known artists in many cases. Working with the instructors here is just a fantastic opportunity because they're all still working in their fields. They're all still relevant and it's not like you would have a tenured professor who hasn't been in the field for 20 years. You're working with people who are still making the majority of their living in the field. A student came to me and, and said, I want to see your work. I said, okay. He said, because I can't take a course from somebody who doesn't know how to do it. If they know that you as an artist are successful, they have a lot more faith in you. Um, they know you can do it, not just talk about it. For me, teaching is a real important aspect of my own artwork. I feed off those students. When we opened, we brought 550 students from various places. Now, the enrollment is nearly twice that. This is, you know, sort of a dream people have, you know, maybe I'll be an artist. I'd like to be an artist. Do you think I could be an artist? Um, how would I live? Well, if you're trained well, and you really have a passion about this, you can do it. The ones who go on to school do come back and tell us. They're good reporters. They let us know how this has worked for them. Uh, they've really moved out and done things. Uh, it's, it's just very exciting for me, and it is, I'm sure, for all the other faculty to see that. Uh, one, of the, one of the highlights of my day will be when I see a former student who's uh, gone on to do well professionally, because as an educator, the thing I want is for people to keep doing what they love to do. you're here because you're genuinely passionate about creating and, and saying something, then this place will absolutely give you the tools that you need to, to make good art.